pork dish we're doing is with a beautiful pork fillet from Mill Road Butchers. We're using seasonal uh, vegetables such as asparagus and we're going to braise the fennel in uh, naranjo, which is brew board. And then we're also going to serve a cider sauce with it, which we're using as it comes. Have our fennel, slice it finely. Chicken stock, salt, pepper, and a lot of butter because butter is everyone's friend. And I'm going to braise that in the rationale for about 40 minutes. Asparagus has a woody end that you don't really want to eat. So the best way to actually get that off is rather than guessing, is you bend it and it will snap at exactly the point of the woody bit. You can save that for stocks or sauces, don't waste anything. So we've got this lovely pork fillet from Mill Road Butchers. We're gonna sear it in a nice hot pan to get some color on it. Once the pork is nicely coloured all over, then we're going to throw in some butter, sage and garlic. Once the butter's melted, the sage and garlic have infused some flavours into the pork. We're going to place it in the rationale oven and probe it to 64 degrees as I like my pork a little pink. You can have your pork a little more cooked if you prefer. So I'm using salmon cider as it comes for the sauce to go with my pork. Put it in nice and hot so reduce it. Get it and then I've got some homemade chicken stock that I'll just warm that through so it melts and that should be a nice thick sauce. Chef Treat. Uh, so today we're going 
going to be pairing it with the, um, the bittersweet, which I've. Yep, this one, bittersweet dry. So this one we've chilled down for about an hour and a half. Uh, we want it to be sort of served almost like a, an apple wine, uh, really, because it's really it's a strong flavour. Uh, it's uh, it's got some uh, Yarlington Mill, Michelin, and Davinet, so it's a cider apple variety uh, blend. Really deep, really really deep, rich flavour. This. Um, Oh yeah, you can smell that. That smells like oaky barrels and 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 a cider cider orchard. That's amazing. Yeah, you wouldn't want that to be drunk in a pint when you're pairing it with a meal. Do you want to do you want to bring it over, Becky? We've got yeah. pork dish. Uh, talk me through it if you would, please. So we decided to use pork. Uh, sorry, <laughs> we decided to use cider and beer with this dish uh, because why not cook with both if you can uh, so we've got a beautiful pork fillet from Mill Road Butchers uh, homegrown asparagus which uh, takes quite a long time you have to wait three years this is the first year I've been able to pick it um, mashed potato made, uh, probably 50-50 butter mashed potato <laughs> you know, it's a good ratio though. it's a good ratio <laughs> as much butter as you can don't bother with cream don't bother with milk just butter it's beautiful and then we've got some uh, Naranjo slow braised fennel because obviously the orange flavours in the Naranjo work really well with the fennel and the pork. Yeah, orange and fennel is a classic combination. And homemade chicken stock, which I've added some Simon cider as it comes to. So we've got apples, oranges, it's very beautiful. So this dish, uh, this will work well, whether, whether you're a beer or a cider drinker really. Um, but I do think that having, having such a an amazingly strong flavoured, rich cider as this uh, will really showcase the, the depth of the pork flavour as well. Wow, that smells amazing. Oh. I mean, it's not your, not your usual taste, Chef. But, uh... um, it's actually good that it's not too sweet because obviously the fennel will be quite sweet because it's been slow cooked um, and pork is quite sweet. So that's really nice. Personally, I've always preferred dry cider, but uh, on the side of our Cambridge, you have to be able to recommend anything to anyone, which, which is a lot of fun, to be honest. I mean, Becky's been doing it 13 years. I've done it probably um, half that, but um, it's still largely the same team there. It's, it's a really lovely atmosphere. It's just such a shame we can't replicate it this year. So, uh, well, tell me, Becky, uh, what's that pork like? What's the food? Mm -hmm. Um, I cooked it a little bit more, more than I would at home. So there's a little bit of pinkness on this piece here. There is, it's but, still a little bit pink. But you do want to cook it through. Uh, what's the correct temperature to cook it through, Chef? Legally, 75, but if you're getting good quality pork, you don't need to go that high. It's beautiful, it's really pink. So this is the Naranjo that uh, the, uh, the, the fennel was braised in. Oh, bloody hell. That's, uh, that's an incredibly rich blood orange IPA. It's got Simcoe hops, El Dorado, and Sultana. Chef can't get enough of that dish, can he, Chef? <laughs> so I'm going to try this fennel. This fennel was braised in that, that beer. I'll try that with some of the pork, actually. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of sweetness going on. definitely balances well with the beer. The beer's got lots of bitterness, goes really well with the, the sweetness of the pork, the fennel, obviously the butter in the mash will offset that as well, sort of complete the flavour profile of the dish. And then the asparagus is just, all right, all right. Because you've got to have something green on the plate, haven't you, really? I mean, and what better than homegrown asparagus? Nice and fine as well. Yeah, that's good. It's early season for asparagus as well, isn't it? You know, you know, the really thick woody stuff you can get all year round, but the tips, you know, that's that's pure British lovely asparagus. Okay, so uh, out of the two then, chef, uh, we've got the Naranjo. Oh, we've got uh, Simon's uh, bittersweet joy. What's your pick? You tell um, me why. 
Actually, I can't tell you on this one. I think they're both fantastic options. Okay. So if you prefer beer, go for the beer. If you prefer cider, go for the cider. Well, there you go. That, this was supposed to be a pork and cider dish, but uh, we've got a beer pairing as well. So um, congratulations, Brew Boards. So you, you've picked a winner. <laughs>